Now see, we's out here in Maryland, closer to Baltimore, all right, which is really, you know, you get outside the city and it's just a car slum of nonstop suburbs. Rural areas turn suburb, but we came out to check out this somewhat uh, disturbed uh, understory. It is a uh, Vegas American beach forest to check out and see what's growing down here. You know, we got to just clear our mind too, because we've been filming in the suburbs, you know, trying to kill these lawns. Not enough. All right, there's a lot of work to go. We could spend ages here killing all the lawns because they love the turf out here. They got the rainfall for it, so they've really embraced the grass. Doesn't do shit for the local ecology, though. But uh, we're going to take a look at some of the plants growing here and see what we got. Oh, this is nice. Hey, I'll come up here. Why don't you come see what we got? Grifola frondosa, the hen of the woods. Possibly the most delicious mushroom in all of North America. Okay? Holy Given a given a nice, it's given a uh, some trouble to this beach, so we're gonna slice this up and cook the shit out of this. Oh this is a God. there's another clump over Holy there. Holy shit! This is really hard to cultivate too. It can be done. You can buy them in some of the organic grocery stores, but the ones you get in the grocery stores are only like that big. This one looks a little past its prime. No, well, I can't tell. Not. I think it's still fishy. good. No, no. This is such a delicious fucking mushroom. You know I'm going to take some money shots. What were you going to say? I say, you know what we're going to do? We're going back to that weird hotel. We're getting a cooktop out. We're getting some Irish butter, and we're cooking these bastards up. Why does it got to be Irish butter? Why don't we just use olive oil? You, no, you could use, use olive oil, yeah, too. Yeah, use Irish butter. You could use olive oil, too. What if we did a blend? We could. Okay, I'll, I'll settle for that. That's we'll fine. Or we That's do a fine. Batch. We do a batch. Look, this is a beautiful mushroom, though, too. God, and it smells so oh, goddamn man. good when you cook these things. I'm going to eat all this tonight. Holy shit. Grifola frondos. I never thought I'd see it in the wild. You know, you buy them at those overpriced health food stores in California. It's like seven bucks for a little thing that's growing in a basket. We're going to take this. We're going to have a field day. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. See, parasitizing this beach. What a gem. What a gift. See, this is a gift. It's a gift. Nice. How you say gift? Look at that. God damn it. Look. Oh, uh, uh, flip it over. Look at the little pores over there. Yeah, that's nice. You know, we don't get American beach forests in the Chicago area. So, you know, we got to come here to get our, look at it, be such beautiful trees too. Such beautiful, such beautiful goddamn trees about to go deciduous. I was hoping we'd see epiphagus as well, which is a plant that parasitizes beach. But these are such a dominant component of the forest here. So ecologically important, these trees, you get a lot of stuff living off of them. All right, a lot of, probably very, they're ectomycorrhizal too, so very rich microbial life, not just the parasites. Let's see that bitch you got right there. Let's yeah. just take a little bitch. See oh, it? Oh, yeah. Look, Look at, at this. It. Give it, oh, oh. Now, describe the taste when you get these, oh. you get when these you cooking cook these, in a pan. When you cook these, it's like the most, like, savory, it's like meat. It's like umami. It's a, it, it's got all the flavors. It's earthy, it's onions, it's garlic. It's really it, good with garlic. It's got so much stuff. It's just like, oh, oh God, so it truly is a Hen of the woods, not to be confused with the chicken of the not, woods. Not with the chicken of the woods, laid a porous sulfurious, which, you know, makes some people puke, but it's also delicious. This if, is the hen, this ain't gonna hurt nobody. This ain't gonna hurt nobody. It's gonna just be so smooth. How much did you say that is, like 12 pounds right there? No, this this may be like, this is probably like six pounds. Six pounds. Yeah, each one of these is, you know, a couple. Oh, that's There's nice. a lot of water in there. A lot of, oh, yeah. It's... Grifola, Grifola. Grifola frondos. Al, what does that make you feel like when you look at that? Look at the patterns. Look at the beauty on this fruiting body right here. It, well, number one, it makes me feel like I'm kind of taking a psychedelic journey, okay? Looking at the folds and the waves and undulations of the fruiting body itself. And then number two, I got to tell you, Thorne, it makes me real hungry. Because I've had these before. And they're so damn delicious. Look at that. That is just, I mean, I'm, I'm taking it back. I can still taste the ones I've had, you know, on my mouth. My my mental, my mental taste buds are just going off. You know, I've got uh, just, just, just bathed in the sensual delights of this is by far my favorite mushroom uh, in the world, probably at least in terms to eat. You know, just a fucking, and I guess they're just, you know, I wonder how how long they've been living on this beach. You know, how how long it's been. You know, my ceiling is apparently just. You know, in that little nook right there. You know, I wonder. I would be curious to see how the my ceiling actually behaves inside this tree. You know, if it's how much of a pain in the ass it is for the tree. If the tree's just kind of like, eh, no, it's not too bad. You know, it adjusts and get by. 
or what, but uh, ecologically, really, really cool. So, and of course, we'll be transporting a bunch of spores back, helping Ooh. this thing get to all the other beech trees so that maybe a few years down the line, they're also produce some massive fruit and bodies like this. Delicious. What, what defenses does the beach have against this parasite? And how long has this relationship been going on? How many millions of years, I wonder, between uh, uh, relatives of phagus, this whole lineage, and the, and, uh, the fungus itself? It's so freaking quiet out here. All I can hear is the cacophony of my own mind. And then I find a stillness. Do you feel the stillness? You let the chorus of the crickets and the birds and the gentle rustlings fill your mind. Let it take up the space of the cacophony. The cacophony falls away like glass falling down, tumbling down a hillside. All you can hear is the rustling of a dog. A dog who loves you. Off in a woods somewhere. Get the squirrel, Louis! See, but they got that wavy basket grass, this guy. Real bad invasive. See that brought over from Asia? Just because some Nimrod probably thought it was, you know, horticulturally attractive. But those, you see those awns. Those, what look like hairs. Those are the awns coming off the seeds of the grass. And so these turn into little stickers. See that? And they'll, they'll actually stick on you like that. Yeah, see, they got like a Velcro. Oh, they're kind of sticky too. Holy shit. Look at that. They're glandular. A real bad invasive. This is like the buckthorn of uh, of Maryland, of Eastern Maryland. Just as bad. Real bad invasive. The leaves are kind of uh, attractive, I guess. See, they got that undulations on it. And it's actually in the species name. Anyway. Well, thank you, Mr. Beech Tree. We really appreciate you, okay? Now, if you don't have a bag, what you got to do, you got to craft the bag, okay? So I got this, you know, this workwear coat that I thrifted. Don't think I'm one of these fancy lads who doesn't get their own threads at the thrift store. I go to some goofy store and buy that stuff. Okay, Sluggy, here you got that other you one. did this one. So we got about Blessing. probably 10 or 11 pounds of wild mushrooms this, right there. This is a lot. It's a beautiful amount. You gotta just make your own bag. You throw these little bits in there. Get in there, that's, that's gonna... It's gonna be in the bottom of the pan later. God, this grass is a pain in the ass. Look, it just covered the dog. Covered you, Louie. Don't worry, we'll get you cleaned up here. Look at this invasive berberus. That's a drag, too. And same thing, spread by birds, but brought into someone's yard because they just thought it was attractive. Planting plants just on how they look and on a very subjective subject of beauty without any regard to ecology. Look at that. That's a massive lyrial dendron. It's a massive tulip tree, a relative of magnolia. God, that thing's a beast. Jesus Christ. Of course, got a beach right next to it. Ah. Oh. See, there's the tulip tree leaves. See that? Very distinct shape. Truncate. Look at that. Look, that's all that basket grass. See, it's invasive as hell. Anyway, look at this. Another edible shrimp of the woods. Entoloma abortivum. And that's kind of what it looks like. It looks like an aborted mushroom. See? You can see it looks like it was turning into a mushroom. There's gills there and whatnot. And then it just it just aborted. But if you snap it open, you could see... Well, it was better on it. Yeah, there you go. See? You could see it was... You know, you could see it was going to look like a, like an aborted... You know, like a typical stock and cat mushroom. But then it got, got hit by this parasite. All right, this entoloma. Which, uh... Yeah, there you go. You can see that these will, these will parasitize our malaria fungi as well. But see, there you go. You crack it open. Just looks like a knob, like a white webby knob. Crack it open. You can see there was actually a stalk and a cap in there. But this is just a this is a damn mutant. It's just this this white webby knob on a on the ground. And again, these are edible, so uh, you know you can, uh, take them home, fry them up. But just be careful because there's some dangerous. Lookalikes, not dangerous, but well, I guess they're not gonna kill you. Well, maybe it'll kill you. I don't know. It'll certainly make you puke. Either way, it'll be a bad time. So you want to know what you're doing here. See, look at that. See, these guys are enjoying this Entoloma abortivum. Oh, see, look at that. See, you could see it's a typical stalk and cap. This one got a little further along. These millipedes are enjoying it, aren't you, there, guy? Look at that. Kind of a nice smell to it, too. Look at that. It looks like a crustate uh, peyote almost. How's that? Like a face-sheeted peyote. Entoloma is the parasite. 
it's causing these other mushrooms to look all deranged. It's probably an armillaria species. But the entoloma took it over, and that's why you get this. You don't even get gills that open on this thing. See that? Really cool relationship here. This slug is, I'll let him, I'll let him ride actually. You see this, they already went to town on this one. So entolomas, and armillaria itself is a parasitic fungus. Entoloma is a fungus that parasitizes another fungus. It's a parasite on a parasite. How's that? You think of that? Tell me what you think of that, beech tree. Look at that, Calmia latifolia, ericaceous. Look at the bark. Notice, you know, anyone who knows Madrone or Camaro Staphylus, you'll see a similarity right there. And it's an evergreen. Is it evergreen? The leaves certainly feel sclerophyll. Yeah, look at that. There's doesn't look, maybe it might. I'm sure it can drop them if it gets cold enough. Who knows? Either way, really nice fucking plant. Remember the blueberry family. Oh, that's nice. Anyway, that's all I got. Have a good rest of your evening, morning, whatever the shit, whatever. I don't know what time it is when you're watching us. I'm filming at night. You might be watching our time of the day. I don't know. Okay? There you go. Fuck yourself. Bye. Hey, you tell me, you tell us what you're doing over there. I, when we seen these in the woods, I said, hold the phone. And you were yelling down that hill, I said, hold the phone. Because we got to get the cooktop from the lady downstairs at the desk. And we got to go get some veggies and stuff. We got to cook these up. Okay, what you do, we got we got 10 pounds of this stuff. And we had to break it up here. Here you go, here, look at this. Here, get, a little, get a little bit of that. Reach in there. So get you couldn't fit all that in that little pot. No, well, you like, had to wait. No, you had to do batches. This is the one with the butter. And so what's you put the Irish butter in here? What is the Irish butter? I said I wanted the olive oil though. This Why are you doing oil. Irish butter this and is olive, the olive oil? oil. No, I you, did two that's batches. olive oil. This is the Irish butter, this is the olive oil. You know, it's all going to the same place. Well anyway. you put you put garlic in there too? I could put garlic in both of them.